Hi, this is Maria from Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda, Florida. Good morning, everybody. That's a beautiful day here in Punta Gorda. So winter is over. No more winter. Can you believe that? Now it's just summer. Anyway, some good. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about Hoyas, but before I talk about the Hoyas, I'm gonna talk about desert roses for a second. Do you know why? Please, can I please? Okay, about desert roses. Okay, these roses right now in a lot of states or in, in, in a lot of places in this country or another country, uh, I say all over the world. In a lot of places all over the world, <laughs> the not only in the USA are getting very, very hot, like Florida. Okay, it's getting hot and uh, in our plants getting stressed. So, if you have any desert roses that you plant in the last um, in the last year and they're not too stable you need to water them okay you need to keep in soak once a week at least it doesn't rain so go it, it, i'm talking about if you are in the for example in the 80 70 degrees 70 80s not 60 60s is still okay keep it moist okay but if you are in the 70s 80s and everything is getting dry they need water okay they're not gonna root rot you need to put water okay so just go ahead and water them because i uh, just getting like yesterday we even like 80 something degrees how far away yesterday lucas uh it was actually pushing over 90 with the humidity oh my goodness it's hot yesterday so yeah if i have some plants that are new and i just repair them in the last three months and they're doing well they have a lot of new stems and flowers I need to water them because otherwise they're gonna get too dehydrated and doesn't help the situation. These plants are alive. Why? I live in a hot climate in Florida, like Texas is very hot, Arizona is very hot, uh, some places in the USA and other countries, I don't know other countries, but I know some places very hot. So please take your plants, start watering the desert roses, especially if they were planted in the last year, okay? So yes, they need water. If you wanna ask me, don't don't uh, uh, let them dehydrate too much, okay? Uh, that's about it for the okay. Now, Shane, ah, we're gonna talk about Hoyas now, okay? Hoyas, okay. This is an update to my Hoya video, okay? I know I did videos before about this beautiful Hoya, but doesn't mean I was right at the time okay it's all a learning experience if you have to you want you want to go along with me that's okay if you don't want to go along with me i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry but i can tell you one thing it's gonna be 30 40 years from now and i'm gonna still learn it and whatever i learn that is successful i'm gonna pass it to you and i'm not gonna care about the video that i make a year ago okay and don't hold me to it <coughs> Well, give me an idea. <coughs> I'm coming up. What do you think about? Oh my God, what's this? It's beautiful. <gasps> my goodness, so beautiful. The Hoya. <coughs> my goodness, I'm coming. <coughs> <coughs> okay, it's a question for you. I had like a couple Hoya videos before, and this is like the number one video it's real good video this one this technique do you think i should delete all ones the videos and just stick to this one from now on or leave them <coughs> because the video where i was in glue no longer using glue in the in the part of the the cut i'm coughing lucas where's the hose <coughs> yeah right <laughs> so anyway excuse me so let me know what you think about that removing the videos just delete the video and stick with this video and i don't know i think i have one or two videos from the hoyas this is the video okay first of all for anybody up there they buy buy a little little cutting like for example i'm gonna cut a little piece here this is what oh guy cut this one you see it has a it has a new stance coming little one there it's cute so like this they send you to you in the mail for $29, okay? So that's my concern. $29 is a lot of money for you to pay. 
but if you really get you really gonna go for it and buy it i want to make sure like 100 percent sure you i'm not gonna lose this because you lose a lot of money as a lot of people just almost in theaters my god turn yellow and die okay the new thing that i discovered one main 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 important thing is very important the joyas take forever to root forever so if you plant your joya here okay you plant your joya and you're gonna go every day and look at the joya and say oh it's not doing anything oh my god so the present i'm gonna lose it forget it you're not going to grow joyas forget it don't grow joyas you need to leave this joya alone for two months okay leave it alone don't look at it keep the top okay, go to how to water okay leave it alone pretend it's not there leave it on the shelter in the patio not inside the house please uh halfway the sun leave it outside in the shade okay and don't put it inside the house and think it's gonna propagate okay leave it alone if you don't leave it alone if you go back in three weeks and say oh my god it's not rooted i'm gonna i'm gonna wet i'm not gonna i'm gonna put water and see what happened and then you go and you soak it in water you're gonna kill it for sure it's gonna turn yellow and die okay it's gonna die because you're getting stressed out because it's three weeks four weeks five weeks six weeks and the hoy is still not doing nothing and you freaking out might as well don't grow hoyas hoyas the secret is to plant them like plant them a little pot like this okay first of all this this is gonna work okay this is what you do okay you get you're gonna use hormone you have to use hormone okay so you put a little hormone there only this little a little bit okay and this is a new cut and there is cut okay so you're gonna put this here you're gonna put like this and then you're gonna go like this because that's that's the the, the container says to do that not to put a lot and just stick it in the soil says to dip it in there real good and then to shake it and this is all you need no water in here it's just dry soil okay so you're not gonna do just gonna put it there okay put it there and get a spray bottle and spray the top every four days and leave it alone okay otherwise it's not gonna work don't freak out sometimes it can take eight weeks to root if you don't have patience it's not gonna work okay you're gonna lose the hoya okay this is my hoya that i plant i don't know i have to look at the video but this is my hoya and this is what i did i planted like this and somebody make a comment in my video and say oh uh oh no water how she's gonna do that well the person was right after i after i finished the video i said hmm i gotta keep some moisture in there so i went back with a spray bottle and moisture this every four or five days a little bit not much because if you moisture too much you're gonna have yellow leaves and you're gonna lose the hoya okay if you see a yellow leaf leave it alone until the whole thing is done so far i only have one little yellow leaf over here and i don't know what's going on i'm not gonna i'm not gonna disturb it I leave it alone and maybe one more here i'm not gonna disturb it means whatever i'm doing is working because uh I don't have many yellow leaves but this time everything will be yellow will be done and the soil is not wet it's just moisture i moisture it two days ago i'm not gonna do it until monday okay this is the results this is the results this is the roots you see that this car is rooted let me see that way you can see better you see that there is the roots okay there is the roots in the plant okay so the secret secret and the important one the more important thing for the hoyas a weeds leave it alone leave them alone just put them in soil put them in soil very gentle okay put them in soil very gentle and mix them every four or five days for eight weeks if they they get yellow it's something else but most hundred percent almost Nah, I don't want to say 100, maybe 98%, you will have success. If you go back and guess you put the day in the pot with a little sticker, put the day in the pot when you plant it. And the, the Hoya will be fine. I have a lot of cuttings of Hoya for sale here, very inexpensive. 
but that's how I do it, okay? Let's pull one more in this pot. This one is dying for some reason, but I'm, maybe it was too tender when I planted, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's pull this one. Let's pull this one. See that? Roots. See that? Has roots. So there is my whole update. I'm not gonna disturb it anymore. I think it's enough. And uh, just leave it alone. If you don't leave them alone, it's not gonna work. If somebody give you just a leaf, just one leaf, you can do, um, for example, um, let me see. If somebody just give you a leaf, they have to break it from the plant. They cannot cut it, okay? They have to break it. They cut it, and then it's not good cut. They have to break it. If somebody give you one leaf, what are you gonna do? The same thing. Just put it here, okay? Dip it in there, shake it, dry, put it there, mix it with a spray bottle, clean water, make sure it's clean water, not hot, and leave it alone, leave it alone, and this, in eight weeks, you will have roots. Just keep them the top moist, no more than that, okay? Until next time from Maria's Garden. Oh, my story. Hey, where are you going, Lucas? Your story time. What? Well, you're supposed to help me. I know. Huh, 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 you're supposed to help me. Anyway, the thing about my story is this thing. In my little town, in my little town, I'll be with you in a second, okay? In my little town, um, we have a lot of coconut. Coconuts, uh, tall, tall palm coconuts, like around maybe 50, 60 sometimes. You can barely see the palm up there maybe 90 feet high. And uh, how can you get him down to eat him? You know what I mean? So it's very difficult. So is this guy in my town, I'm not kidding you, he is amazing. He gets there with no sa no, saf no safety or anything. He is getting the bounce all the way in two seconds he's up there. He takes a rope, like a hundred feet rope with him in his shoulder. He climbs like this. He goes like this in the palm, and his feet is straight like this. And he just goes like this. Tass, 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 tass. I mean, he trains his body and his muscles and body to just stay still like this, and he just goes up, up. It's amazing. People take videos of him. He goes all the way up there. Okay, so he ties the rope to the coconuts, cut it with a machete, and send them down with a rope. And then you un you undo the rope, and then he take it back. And then the next one, he tie it to the coconut, to the coconut, big, like 20 coconuts, he tie it, and slowly, slowly send it down to you, you undo it, and again, and he can do six, seven pounds, he does it like for a 25 pesos a pound. So it's very like uh, maybe two dollars or less, and no safety guard or anything. He just, uh, he loves doing it. And people call him because sometimes like we have party in the house or have a lot of family coming and my mother or my father will wanna have a lot of coconuts in the house to, to eat, to, to drink. And uh, we cannot get to them, they're all high. So this guy, that's what he did. And he's still doing it for 25 years that I know. Oops, no gloves, Maria. Anyway, that's the story. It's people, amazing people in this world. And until next time from Maria's garden. Bye-bye, good day, love everybody. Please subscribe. Please check my um, check my uh, website, Maria's Garden, uh, www.mariasgarden.us. Bye bye.